to uh, the 1A file folder creation assignment. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through a couple of the key steps that will help you get this assignment done correctly. So first off, we're here in Canvas and we need to go ahead and download the document at the bottom of the uh, assignment window. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that link. I'm going to click on that link and we see it shows up here. I'm using Google Chrome. That's my uh, internet uh, browser that I'm using. And so in Google Chrome, it shows up at the bottom left of um, the screen as a download. So, it, it, so we'll go ahead and open it up here. Just go ahead and double click on that button there. You can also open it by clicking on the uh, upward pointing arrow and say show in folder and then it'll look like this and it'll pop up in your downloads and you'll be able to see it there highlighted or this is what the document is going to look like and we'll go ahead and just read from the top the first thing we would need to do is we're going to create a folder called intro to business computing I can do that up here it says flash drive so I'm going to show you how to do it on a flash drive. I'm also going to show you how to do it on your OneDrive cloud drive, right? So if you want to use a, a location out on a cloud drive, uh, like OneDrive or a Google Drive, then you can do that as well. Um, just as long as you have access to your uh, documents for this class wherever you work. So if that's going to be in class, if it's going to be in a lab at TVCC, if it's going to be at home, or at work or wherever you're at you need to have access to these that's why it has you uh, use a flash drive so flash drive uh, just to make sure you understand is a, a little drive right it so it's gonna kinda look like this it's gonna go into the USB port um, I, it's also called like a, a thumb drive or um, an external uh, flash drive so we can you can go ahead and plug that into your computer and have that available uh, to do all this stuff with or you can use a cloud drive and I'll show you how to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and plug mine in here so I plugged my flash drive in and it's gonna show up for use here a lot of times the flash drives will open this little uh, autoplay uh, menu I'm going to go ahead and close that for now, and we're going to continue on with the file folder creation assignment. So it gives me a little picture here in the middle that shows me kind of the setup that I'm going to need to do for uh, to set up all the folders in my intro to business folder, right? So I'm going to have a folder, and then I'm going to have subfolders within the folder to arrange the assignments that I'm going to do in this course. So let's go ahead and um, I'll open up the flash drive. So I'm going to do everything on the flash drive and then I'm going to then I'll show you how to do it um, briefly on the cloud drive as well. So I, I went ahead and opened the um, my library. So this is the Internet Explorer, uh, where you can go and you can look at your computer, the different drives that are on your computer. And so I'm, I, I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And I'm going to go to Removable Disk E. So in my computer, the flash drive is this Removable Disk E on here. So kind of one way to tell is you can bring up this Windows Explorer window and you can uh, you can go ahead and pull your flash drive out right and that will disappear when you plug it back in then you're gonna have that drive reappear there, there it goes so that's that so the removable disk E is the flash drive on my computer okay so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up right now it has nothing in it so the first thing in the assignment it says here is to create a folder called Intro to Business Computing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to click this little New Folder button here. So there's my folder I've created. 
And then what it wants us to do is uh, step two down here. It says double click on the intro to business computing folder, which will open it up. And then I'm going to create the uh, 12 subfolders within that folder. And they'll have these names here, hardware and software. That'll be one internet, word chapter one, word chapter two, and then so on, right? All the way down through here, um, 12 subfolders. And then we're going to uh, take a picture or a snip of this Windows Explorer uh, view with all my subfolders in there. And I'm gonna submit that as an assignment. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this. And then my first one is going to be, I'm gonna go ahead and create this really quick. So again, to create a folder, you can click on the new folder link here, or you can right click on your mouse and do new as well, right here, new folder. Okay, so that'll create a folder as well. Um, and then this one is supposed to be called, I'm gonna go ahead and create them all here real quick, hardware and software. Okay, so to speed this up, I, knew, I know I need 12 of them, right? So I have two here, so I need 10 more. So what I can do is I can go ahead and on my keyboard, after selecting, I'll select this new folder that I just created. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hold down the control button and hit C. And then I'm gonna click off of it, right? So it's not highlighted anymore. Then I'm gonna hold down the control button again and click V or uh, select V. And that'll start creating new folders. So now I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 in total. And then I can start bringing the names over and putting the names on. So I'll do that really quick and I'll be back with you. So to rename a folder, you can click once and then pause and then click another time, right? So you're not gonna double click on it, that'll open it up, but you can click click once and then again, right? And that'll, that'll allow you to rename. You can also uh, right click on your mouse and go down to rename and that'll allow you to rename a folder as well. So there's a couple different ways to do, uh, get to the point where you can rename your folder. All right, so here are the folders that I set up within the Intro to Business Computing folder. And so these, they're, these are subfolders of the Intro to Business Computing folder that I put on my flash drive. So something else that I can do here, so right now it's kind of a list view, so I can change that to be uh, uh, with details. So I can just change it to the list view, right? And this little button right here will allow me to kind of go through uh, the different views. So if you have one view, uh, one certain view, you don't necessarily need um, any specific view as long as you can see all the folders in your SNP. So this is where we get to the SNP here. So the SNP is we got to be able to see all the folders on our screen, right? And then we go down to, I happen to have here on my taskbar here, the, the snipping tool, right? So this is the snipping tool right here. If you don't have the snipping tool, then you can go to your Windows menu and you can put in, you can search for uh, snip. Just type snip in there. Snipping tool will come up. If you want to in, uh, put the snipping tool on your, uh, on your taskbar, you can drag it down there and put it on there. Uh, if not, then you can you, you can just search for it every time you need it, right? So snipping tool is right there. You can double click on that and it'll open it up. You can also, uh, if I already have mine on the taskbar, so I'm gonna go ahead and click it there and it'll open up. And what it does is it comes, it opens, and it's ready to for you to snip. So what this does is it allows you to take a portion of your screen or the whole screen depends on how you want to do it and it allows you to take uh, basically a picture create an image of it um, and snip it out right so right now if it's not selected where everything's kind of grayed out here then go ahead and hit new mine's already it's already comes up and it's ready to select so I can go ahead and select I'm going to select this entire window that way you can see the intro to business computing up at the top there and all of the folders in as subfolders in that file and I'm going to go ahead so I'm going to drag that across I have to hold my left 
mouse button and drag it across, then when I release the left mouse button, then it will uh, snip it and it's going to bring it to this window. So you have some options here. You can save your snip image somewhere, right, as a picture, or you can, so here, here's uh, my pictures. I can go click pictures and I can uh, put, uh, for example, I can do BA131 uh, snip one, for example. Maybe that's what I'll name it. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save that. And it'll save that. I can also copy the snip right here. So it's gonna, it's basically gonna copy that image and put it on my, uh, and store it so that I can paste it somewhere else, right? So I've got to copy it first, then paste. So that by clicking this button here, I've went ahead and copied it on my clipboard. It's kind of a basically a name for the computer's memory, right? I put it into memory, temporary memory on the clipboard. And then uh, that way when I go and want to insert it somewhere else, I can do that, right? And so that's kind of temporary is the way that works. So let's go back to our assignment here at the very bottom. So I should have 12 subfolders, right, in the Intro to Business Computer folder. Check, I did that. I'm gonna take a snip of my file, so I went ahead and showed you how to do that. Um, and then I'm going to save the snip as, so uh, that's a part I didn't do, right? So I'm gonna save it as uh, my initials, 1A file folder creation, save the SNP in a JPEG format, and then I'm gonna attach this to uh, the hyperlink in Canvas as a submission. So I'll show you how to do that really quick. So I'm gonna go back, let's go back to my SNP here. My original SNP, I, went, I had saved it once, right? So what I actually have to do now is save it in the correct format. So this is going to be, all right, so there's the name with my initials, and it's already in JPEG. If it wasn't in JPEG, you can select the save save as type right down here so you can uh, select different uh, image image types right so uh, it can be a gif or a jpeg or a html uh, and so i'm going to go ahead and hit jpeg which is that uh, file type that i want to save and go ahead and hit save here so i went ahead and saved that now that i have it saved i can go to canvas so I have this set up, right? So before I go to Canvas here real quick, I'm gonna show you how to use your uh, OneDrive to do this very same thing, right? So so what you can do with your in your OneDrive, so you can access your OneDrive as a student by going to your email, your TVCC email. So the TVCC email is available here on my TVCC. Okay, so there's the web address right there. You can go into TVCC College email. I went ahead and logged in, so I'm logged in. And so what I need to do now is I need to go to the top left of my email and click on this little um, three by three image here. That's gonna show me more options. A student at TVCC, you have all of these options, right? All of these uh, services through your email. And so one of them is called OneDrive. So as a student, you have a OneDrive, and the OneDrive, I went ahead and clicked on the OneDrive, and it's gonna send me here. So this is, these are files, it's kind of similar to your internal computer storage, um, and even your flash drive, right? It's a place to save files, accessible through the internet. So if you wanna be able to uh, save your files here, make sure you're able to access them from home at a computer, right, at home or anywhere you go, you're gonna need the internet, right? So if you, if you don't have internet at home or if it's, it's sketchy, whatever, you may wanna just use your flash drive. Uh, if you have good internet wherever you go and it's pretty reliable, then you can, I would suggest, you know, you can put your files out here in your OneDrive. It's gonna be the same situation. You're gonna do uh, click new, add a folder, right? In this case, it is uh, intro to business there we go okay so there's my folder I just created and then within that folder as I click on it 
I can create subfolders again by clicking new folder I can now create subfolders and within that and once I create those then I can snip this or take a you know take that snippet picture and submit that as my assignment so either way will work for me um, so let's go ahead and look real quick at submitting the assignment so again here let me look at this as if I were a student I'm switching over to student view go into modules so I'm gonna go into a1 file folder folder creation which is the assignment I just did and then this blue button here kind of towards the top right of the screen is where where I'm gonna go ahead and click and then I can go in and uh, upload the file that JPEG folder that I uh, created so I'm gonna go ahead and choose folder go to my pictures it's gonna be in here somewhere under uh, what was it it's my under my initials that's right I can go ahead and search for this real quick there the file is so so you can see it show up right here as the file and then I can click the blue button and submit assignment okay and then that'll that'll be the uh, first assignment hopefully this helps you and we'll uh, talk to you later uh, feel free to contact me with any questions that you may have about the class.